The circuit here shows two modules. One set of module called PV module 1 contains five cells in series, five identical cells in series and another set of cells called PV module 2. They are also connected in series and they are also identical cells. Only, only thing is that the insulation source current is lesser indicating that PV module 2 is uh, having partial shading. Now these two modules are connected in parallel and uh, connected to the external load. The external terminals is terminated with the source V0 which is acting as a sweep voltage. These two sources are zero voltage sources. They are put in here to measure the currents. This source will measure I1 current of module 1. This will measure I2 current of module 2. I have also changed the series resistance values so that these two modules will not be exactly same even uh, for the VOC points. There will be some difference. Of course, one could also change the diode models between these two modules but I will leave it as an exercise for you to do. Now let us go to the terminal window and generate the netlist. You see that we are using parallel.sch as the input file and the output file is parallel.net. So executing that we now have generated the parallel.net netlist. Parallel.sch is the circuit file that we just now saw. PV.sub is uh, the file that contains the diode model and linked with Parallel.sch. Now Parallel.car is the circuit file containing the analysis. I have put in the transient analysis include to Parallel.net, the netlist file and some control statements. Uh, the standard ones set background as white, set foreground as black, run the simulation. I have now put two plots. Plot 1, the first plot is I versus V0, the terminal voltage, I of module 1 versus terminal voltage, I of module 2 versus the terminal, terminal voltage. The second plot, so the first plot is IV characteristic, second plot with reference to this IV characteristic, I versus V terminal, you have uh, I1 into uh, V terminal which is the power of module 1 versus the voltage and power of module 2 versus the voltage. These two plots will get executed and displayed. So. Now let us go into ng spice and call parallel.car and run the simulation. The simulation gets run, two uh, plots are displayed. The first one here is the IV characteristic. So this is the IV characteristic of uh, the weaker cell that is module 2. This is the IV characteristic of module 1 and these two get added up and then here you have the IV characteristic of the combined parallel uh, module set. Now the other plot, uh, this is the IV characteristic of the entire module and then you have the um, uh, uh, power versus voltage curve. This blue one is the power versus voltage curve of uh, uh, the uh, module 1 and uh, this uh, light orange colored one is the power versus voltage curve of module 2. And you see that the module 2 is going uh, uh, into the fourth quadrant negative. The power is becoming negative and uh, uh, this is the region where uh, it goes into the dissipation mode to the sinking mode. To avoid this, we of course put a series diode, a diode in series and uh, uh, try to protect the PV panels.